A year ago, there were nine dams along the Mahoning River from Levittsburg to Lowellville that the Eastgate Regional Council of Governments wanted removed. Two came down this year, Lowellville and Struthers. That leaves seven to go. Tonight, the status of those demolitions as the effort to free the river from obstructions continues. Struthers Mayor Kat Sircone Miller today walked along the Mahoning River, admiring the area where the Struthers Dam has been demolished. This river in Struthers has been so hidden for so long, and just to see it so wide open, and just to see just the possibilities and things that can take place here, it's really exciting. There's three in Youngstown, and they're already funded. Joanne Essenwine coordinates the dam removals for the Eastgate Regional Council of Governments. A big issue is securing the money needed, which she says comes from sponsorships. Three sponsors were needed to remove the Struthers Dam, all being government agencies. For a while, the EPA shut down the dam removal program because of the pandemic. But now it's back up and running, so things should start getting moving here by summertime. According to Essenwine, Youngstown's three dams are funded but need sponsors. Same for Warren's Summit Street Dam. The Levittsburg Dam just received its funding this month. I must wait a year to even look for a sponsor. Then there are the two dams still used by industry, the Girard Dam and the BDM Dam next to the former steel mill property in Warren. The Girard Dam, we're working with the um, Army Corps, but right now we're having the person who did our title search verify who owns the dam because there was some question there. And the BDM property is in the process of being turned over, being bought out. So until they have the new owner, we can't even speak to them about removing the dam. The Lowellville and Struthers dams are down, but that may be it for a while. Essen Wine says there are no dates set on when the demolitions of the Mahoning River's seven remaining dams will begin. Joanne Ensign Wine was hopeful that the money would be in place to remove all the dams in three years, but getting them taken down, she says, may take up to five years.